admission to the circus will be by tickets can we write it as of tickets so here uh, basically we're looking at a preposition which brings in the meaning of by the means of right so admission to the circus will be by tickets only this preposition here brings in the meaning of by the means of right why do you need of which is a preposition that brings in the meaning of possess, uh, possession that's not what the context needs right so let me no error here through tickets is also fine through also brings in the same meaning by by the means of admission to the tickets will be by tickets through tickets i'll have to go and look at the text through would be a better option but for me by the means of or by way of right through brings in the meaning of by the means or agency of see just to give you uh, just to tell you by and through right both have the same meaning in at least in the context we're talking about through the agency of the agency being tickets or by the means of both have the same meaning so i don't see what the anyway at this point of time i'd go with either one is fine your liberty shoes are more superior than me um i guess there is error in more than one part of the sentence here that is correct no that's incorrect see raymond you guys are literally taking uh, the meaning see any word for that matter especially prepositions have different meanings in different contexts right so certain for sentences i can't use by certain sentences i can't use through but some sentences i can use both that's what i was trying to say so your liberty shoes so we're talking about things here right so it, it definitely cannot be me and you don't use more with you know comparative degree or most with superlative degree so your liberty shoes are superior to that of mine right like you said so the entire uh, context there's error in c there's error in d to that of mine this makes sense error in part c and part d right quickly you understand this two things right you can't use more with comparative degree likewise you can't say most biggest or most largest right that is incorrect and we already saw that superior inferior ior follows two so just change then to two that's it so error is both in we think him as a silly boy which part is error in daily test they gave answer as c but i think answer is b explain ma'am actually um if in daily test it's given as c it's incorrect because as a construction right we think him a silly boy is the right construction why because in context like this you can't have as following we think him as a silly boy is incorrect let me give you some examples so if i say um raj thinks my ideas impractical right or raj thinks my ideas are impractical so not just think even words like uh, you know consider or call 
don't take up as after it let's look at couple of so I, if i say i consider him a snob right i don't say i consider him as a snob though people use it conversationally it's incorrect you might have heard people say this but it's incorrect construction i consider the matter settled not i consider the matter as settled incorrect or if i say um, nobody calls him a liar you don't say nobody calls him as a liar incorrect they called him a coward they called him as a coward incorrect right we think of him as something is a completely different context because of the preposition of we think of someone as something but here we think him a silly boy they called him a coward nobody calls him a liar so in all these sentences if you see i consider him my friend no as manivanan i consider him my friend that should be the right construction i consider him as my friend incorrect i consider him my friend correct right so the ideal construction right grammatically correct construction is you don't use as after verbs like think consider called right and all these sentences examples that i have given there is no as so the part that has an error is actually b where you delete as yep in if investors are coming from foreign countries to manufacture in india and your laws are so weak in child labor in comparison to international standards then it will become a big disaster okay so sentence starting with if uh, the context is in present tense so will is fine as it is but um, i don't see a big huge um, what do i say error in the context as such but i'm only concerned with this conjunction and right for me whenever i have these conjunctions especially and or correlative conjunctions like not only but also either or neither nor right if i have uh, questions like this i always look for parallel construction so if i i'm going to quickly uh, take off the clause right i'm going to look at each sentence each part as clause 1 and clause 2 so clause 1 is this if investors are coming from foreign countries right i'm writing the whole sentence for a reason if the investors are coming from foreign countries to manufacture in india then it will become a big disaster right this is one clause clause 2 after and it says your laws are so weak so i'll probably put in another condition here if your laws are so weak in child labor in comparison to international standards then it will become a big disaster exactly so which means i have to add so what do you think where do you think we have to make changes this is part a this is part b this is part c and this is part d and this is obviously e so which part do you think has the error 
I have put down both these clauses. If investors are coming from foreign countries to manufacture in India, then it will become a big disaster. If your laws are so weak in child labor in comparison to international standards, then it will become a big disaster. So obviously, keeping in mind that these this conjunction and is joining these two sentences, which mean a clause is a complete thought, right? Your laws seems a little incomplete. So all I'll do is I'll add if in front of your. So the error is in part B. Add if before your laws. Right? 